been feeling like, I've been feeling like, I've been feeling like I'm ready for the top. Got the pedal to the metal, I've been grinding non stop. Killing every instrumental, and I knew just what I wanted. Now I gotta go and get it, and I'm never looking back. Only looking where I'm headed, and I doubt it for a minute, trying to get another win. Hi, buddy. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's too cute, is it not? Honestly, that's my Rocky. Rocky's the littler one. And here comes Apollo. Apollo says, I want some of that. Oh, you guys. How blessed am I of these two little brothers? <laughs> what are you doing? They just, yeah. Come on, Rocky, flip them. Hi, right, guys. That's good boys. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, they're on their feet. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned yesterday, one of the things I'm grateful for is my puppies. Um, they bring me a lot of joy, and I just, like I said, you know, I've said this many times, I hate leaving them because they give me the puppy face. Um, and then, you know, the day before, we mentioned that uh, I'm grateful just for having the masseuses and the positive energy they bring into the room. And today, I just, when I woke up and I thought about what I'm grateful for, I thought, you know, what I'm really grateful for is honestly the game of poker. And I was, I'm grateful for the fact that I found it at such a young age, playing at about 17, 18 years old, and really developing a passion for it early on, playing against mostly older guys, not many, you know, yeah, I did play some high school games as well, where um, they come over to my house and stuff, but to, to be able to play some, to do something for a living that you absolutely love, and can also give you a lifestyle that allows you the leisure to essentially have the freedom to do what you want, when you want, um, it's just a blessing. So thankful for that, and grateful, and uh, I'm curious, I want to know in the comments below today. So let's let's uh, let's let's hear from you guys. What are you grateful for today? And it doesn't have to be something huge. It can be just something simple. Like you know, I'm grateful for pizza because I'm loving this pizza I'm having right now. Just anything, whatever that comes to mind for you. Today we've got the 50k day three. 42 players left. Um, we're excited about the situation. We, we're just slightly under average, but we have 422,000. Our intention for the day is to end with uh, over 1.6 million in chips. Today's gonna be what we call moving day, where chips are, you know, the limits are high, chips are gonna fly. And at my first table, we have Jason Mercier. I have uh, the gentleman known as Little Shit on my left. And across from me, we have Chateau Blanc, who you've seen in the vlogs nightly, displaying a new bottle of ridiculously expensive wine. And I'm sure that that will be no different today. He's been drinking pretty straight, straight through this whole tournament, I think. Doing some vodka, switching to wine. So um, that should be interesting to see how that develops. He's got a good stack of chips as well. So uh, so I'm looking forward to it, you know? Um, all the tables are tough, and you know, you're not gonna find any easy spots, but I feel good about where I'm at. Patient, ready to do this, another long day. Let's go. World Series of Poker, day 17. Let's go with 17. Oh boy, level 13 was a bit of an emotional roller coaster. We are playing high stakes. Uh, just come off the break, the very last hand, induced the seven triple draw against JRB, I make eight five perfect, which is the fifth best hand possible. He has a wheel. Luckily for me, I didn't fall for his check raise on the river. Um, he uh, three bet the turn and then he tried to check raise me on the river and I was like, uh-uh, buddy. <laughs> Seen this movie before. But I do wanna share one no limit hold'em hand that happened with JRB early. Uh, blinds are three and 6,000, no limit hold'em. The $1,500 ante, six ways. He raises in the cutoff to 13,000. I'm in the big blind. We defend 7,000 more with queen 10 hearts. Flop comes 783 with two hearts. I check, he bets 10,000. I call. Turn is a nine of spades. I check, he checks it back. 
River's the jack of hearts, so I make the flush. Also have a 10 blocker, which means something in terms of like, he's less likely to have a 10, right? So he's, you know, if I bet the river, he's less likely to call. However, it's a really good card for him to represent and try to bluff me off an eight or a seven. So I felt like check was better. Uh, I checked, he bet 70,000 into 58, which is a very polarizing bet, right? He's not supposed to just have a straight and make that bet. He's supposed to have a flush or nothing. And if he has a flush, there's a very good chance it's a king high flush or an ace high flush. So I just call 70,000 and uh, he turns over ace 10 of spades, which was kind of a strange bet because with his hand, he probably should bet a lot less than that. But anyway, once he bets 70, there's, there's no check raising happening for us. So anyway, we're at four, what I say we have? 440,000 and level 13. Okay, so as these people can all attest, right? Yeah, hello everybody, these are people sweating. A lot of people sweating this one here. There's the 50K, special event. And there's a whole bunch on this side as well. So we just had 45,000 in stud, right? Yes. And we're playing 30 and 60,000. And we, we saved our last bet when I had aces against kings. And I was pretty sure he kings and I catch a queen, a jack, a ten, and he catches an open king. He's got the block. And then I, uh, well, he's not, not only the blockers, he's got the three damn kings. So we, uh, Folded that one, saved one bet, and now we're back to 190,000. I did this last year too. Really, I was down to like one bet like three times. Ever say die, right? <laughs> Where are y'all from? Where are you guys from? Chicago. 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 So these three gentlemen over here, not you, just played a massive Raz pot where there's like the best two guys could have was a nine, the JRB wins his big pot, and then of course when he wins the pot, it's, it's an extra production because he films it for Instagram. Now we have another big pot, 6th Street, with the best possible hand is a jack. Three ways with just crazy amount of bets in there. So we'll hang out here and see who wins it. All right, so not gonna lie, there's one tournament of the year that makes me like super emotional, where I lose my emotional stability, it's this one. Cause the swings are so crazy, especially after you know the early stages, everything's chill. All of a sudden, you know, at this point, every pot is do or die. So we ended level 14 with 131,000. We're gonna be playing 20 and 40,000 next level. I've got the button. I expertly <laughs> made sure everybody sped up. Good job, Ralph, very nice, yeah. You couldn't read the sign? It said emergency exit. I gotta go to the bathroom. People, Jesus. <laughs> He's just gonna pee outside. Anyway, so what the hell was I saying? Who cares? We gotta run it up. Really hard to put into words right now 
how fucking steamed that fucking steamed. I'm gonna say fuck a bunch. So steamed right now. Just busted. Very last hand, Raz. Make a long story short. Well, the hand right before I just lost a ridiculous hand. Missed a fucking draw. Like with two guys drawn to dick shit. And <laughs> I'm drawn smooth. I miss. They make the last one I needed to catch. I needed to beat JRB's 9-8 low in Raz. And I'm drawing to ace-4-6-7. And I catch what's known as a four across. Four across means when you squeeze it, you know that it's a nine or a 10. So good news is I'm 50-50 now, right? So if it's a nine, I win because my nine's better. If it's a 10, I'm out. I looked at the card, it was a 10, and I wanted so badly to rip it. I wanted to rip that card. I wanted to rip every card on the table. I wanted to <laughs> rip every player's face off of their body. I'm so fucking steamed. Whew. Trailer time. I don't even know what tournament's next, but it won't be anything soon, I'll tell you that much. So I just took a look at the schedule for the World Series of Poker, and I don't look at it during the 50K because my plan is to stay in the 50K and I'm not thinking about other events to be in. And I looked, and it's the, they had the seniors today. I ain't playing that, even if I was 85. Then they got this double stack thing, definitely not playing that. And now there's like, the only tournament left is a seven o'clock event, which is the $365 Pot Limit Omaha Giant. Uh, which we won't be playing that. So there's literally nothing for us to play tonight, which is just fine by me because I'm pretty steamed. The 50K Poker Players Championship is my number one favorite event of the year. And it's the one that gets my emotions going to the point like no other one does. Like I played the Super High Roller Bowl. I never had those emotional outbursts. Something about Limit Poker too. You take so many more beats and so many more frustrating things happen that it really kind of adds up. Um, and gets me emotional. I really wanted to rip cards so bad. But then I looked at the floor. I'm like, can I rip? Can I rip? I'm like, I know. I, I won't rip. Okay, I won't rip. I wanted to rip the cards so bad, which is just me being a little shit, you know, like my friend, little shit. So very disappointed. Uh, I think I finished right around 25th or 26th place. Paid about 14 spots. But I played my ass off and ran super bad against Tommy Hang. I love the guy. Nice kid, but man... I told him, I was like, I like you, man, but I really, really want to punch you in the face so bad. Oh, God. I just can't believe I'm out, man. I grinded that short stack, and I was like, okay, I did this last year, too. We can do it again. But, oh, well. So what do we do now? We look forward to tomorrow. And tonight, we're going to have a night at home with the puppies. Um, and I got Malia over there watching the puppies for a little bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell her she can take the night off of dog sitting. And then um, I'm gonna watch Rocky probably, Rocky two. We watched Rocky one the other night. And tomorrow is a very good chance at a bracelet. Um, it's a seven card stud, 10K. You expect for that one to be under 100 in players, maybe in the realm of like 80 to 85. So a good chance at a bracelet. I like the 10Ks. So we'll be showing up on time for that and cooling off for the rest of the night. Like honestly, I don't know if you can feel it, but I'm fucking steamed. <laughs> But it's better now. I'm, I'm gonna do like my little breathing exercise. Whoo, go over the hands and whatever, but eh, such is life. Can't win it every year. And uh, I'm just blessed to even have a chance to ante up. So that's what the focus will be, gratitude, right? Think about what I'm blessed for.